guys, what's up? It's Big Jack Films here. Uh, yeah, it's been a while since I've done a vlog or whatever, so, um, I thought I'd start a new series of videos where, um, basically because, like, I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube of people doing unboxings and things they've bought and so on, so I thought, you know, I'll put my two cents in and just do a series of videos where every time I buy something, I'll just unveil it to you guys and just show you what I got, but, um, yeah, I'm sort of just been going into the cash wagon on this, but um, I digress. So yeah, it's just lately for me, I've been buying a bunch of shit, and um, you know, I mean, I it's whether it be movies or video games or so on. So I thought, you know, might as well every time I go buy something, just share it with you guys and just do a series of vlogs. So let me know if you like this or whatever. So. Yeah, let's uh, get started. So the first thing I did was is that, well, today I had to go to work, but before I go to work, I had a few hours to kill. So what I did was is I bought a few things for some conventions and uh, and for my game collection and so on. And I'll, I'll do a video on my game collection one time in the future, but, uh, and also forgive the intro the thing with my room. It's, it's, it's a bit of a mess because, and a clusterfuck because I'm getting ready for Anime North and so on and all that shit. But anyway, moving on. So, uh, the first thing I bought was, um, this. It's a MP3 player. It's like, wow, Big Jack Films, you've, uh, you're really outdated on technology. Now, here's the thing. I have a phone. It plays music and shit, but the reason I bought this was because, um, uh, at, when I do the cosplay battles and everything in the Ontario Cosplay Wars videos, uh, we now have, like, a boombox where we play music and stuff to make it look more epic and awesome, you know, and all that shit. But the thing is, I always use my phone to play the music, so I'm so afraid that, like, in the middle of the battle, there'll be some sort of outtake where it's, like, my parents call and they'll play on the speaker. It's like, what the fuck's going on? So what I did was, I bought this, it was, like, five bucks. You know, that's not too bad. And it was at a liquidation shop, um, and this is just so I can play music for the battles and so on, so I can plug them into the stereo and everything. So, yeah, five bucks, um, see if I can get it open here just, uh, very quickly. I don't think I can with, uh, this box. I, oh, wait, here we go. Yeah, it's a magnetized box. Who, who puts magnets in that? But, yeah, just MP3 player, uh, headphones and a USB charger. You know, five bucks, not too bad. And the other thing I bought for the cosplay battles is a megaphone. Yes, I, uh, got this for ten bucks at the same liquidation store. Uh, it's just a simple megaphone. It says, plays over 200 yard range and I uh, can record and so on. So this is more to just get people att get people interested in coming over and stuff so I can hear us and know what's going on. But uh, megaphone, 10 bucks. So that was about a $15 buy at liquidation store. And it, it takes uh, two C batteries, which I have none at all, so I have to go buy that and shit. And uh, yeah, so megaphone and MP3 player. Uh, then, as I usually do, another thing I really do on my spare time is that I, wa I watch a lot of shows like Storage Wars and Canadian Pickers and so on, and I kind of like to do the same thing, just find random things or like movies or whatever for cheap prices. So I went to my nearest Goodwill and I added a, bought a few things in the bag here. And basically, uh, I'll just unveil what I got. Well, the first thing I got was because I'm a huge, I'm starting to get into collecting games, especially retro games. And for, just to put it out there, my favorite system of all time is the Super Nintendo. And in this episode, no, I didn't find Super Nintendo games, but I find them a lot. But I'm also, you know, an Xbox person and everything. Like, for the new generation, I like the Xbox consoles. I, I, like, once the first Xbox came in, that's the only system I've been going with, and I have yet to get an Xbox One. But anyway, so for the regular Xbox, I got a few games. Uh, one I really wanted to play, and then the other two I just got, and eh, they look cool. So the first one I got, which I really wanted to play on my Xbox for a long time, was uh, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets by uh, Electronic Arts. Now, um, here's the story about this game. Uh, I had played this um, in secondary school on a PC, and uh, I really love the game. I love the music. I love uh, the voice acting and everything. And this was a fun game to play on the PC, so... Um, yeah, I'm glad I got this for Xbox, um, but also Electronic Arts, I will admit, they, like, even though they make a shit ton of sports games, and I don't like sports game, sports games at all, like, I find they're just the same shit over and over again, but, uh, I do find they make some very good fantasy adventure games, uh, most notably 
the two Lord of the Rings games, uh, Two Towers of Return of the King, they are some of my favorite games for the Xbox. And so, yeah, just got Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, uh, 2002, so this is right when the movie came out. And, uh, yeah, so there's that one. And then the other two games, which I got, like, now here's the thing, each one of these cases, you know, DVDs or whatever, it, you know, to Goodwill, it doesn't, they don't give a shit about, um, what the value is. If it just looks like a DVD case or a video game case, it's three bucks. Everything like this is three dollars a piece. Look at that. Three dollars. So, I've been buying a bunch of these for a while now, movies especially. So the other two games I got, and I'm not too sure if these are, like, valuable games or whatever, but... Just six bucks for both of them, or just six bucks for both of them. Uh, two Prince of Persia games. I have never played Prince of Persia, uh, although I have seen the movie, and I will admit, a lot of people say it sucks. I find it's a little underrated, and I kind of liked it. Uh, I really like the Prince of Persia movie. But uh, yeah, there's uh, two games. I'm not too sure which one goes first and which one comes second, but the first one we have is Prince of Persia, The Two Thrones. Um... Yeah, just that, and it's by Ubisoft, um, and yeah, it just, it just looks fun. Just a like for me, Prince of Persia is just a generic series of games, and then we have Prince of Persia Warrior Within. So um, yeah, I have I haven't played these, and um, and in case you're wondering, uh, I don't ever plan to do let's plays. I find they're a little bit hard to. You know, there's, it's just too much to really handle, especially for my computer, because I'm saving up for a new computer, and my old computer's acting like crap. But anyway, uh, but yeah, Prince of Persia, Warrior Within, and the Two Thrones. And then finally, the uh, last item I got, um, because, you know, I'm a huge film buff. Um, actually, if you look over there, that whole shelf is nothing but DVDs and books. Yeah, nothing but DVDs and books. All the way through. So I've been really collecting a lot of DVDs, and especially, let me just get the camera going there, and there we go. And especially for my movies, see, I had a lot of movies on VHS, but I'm kind of slowly can transfer, like, just basically either A, transferring them to DVD if I can't find any copy whatsoever, or I just buy them on DVD and then just put the VHS versions downstairs in the vault. I like to call it the vault, so it's with my game collection. But the movie I got today... Because, you know, I like the movie. I thought it was good when I was a kid. The Mask with uh, Jim Carrey. Uh, yeah, this is actually, I, I actually, this is a, I have fond memories of watching this movie as a kid. And, um, oh, Cameron Diaz at the time, so pretty, so pretty. Um, and she still is kind of pretty. But anyway, I digress. But this is a good movie. It's uh, the New Line Platinum Series Edition. It comes with special features include deleted scenes, return to Edge City, introducing Cameron Diaz, a screen test, cartoon logic, what makes Fido, what makes Fido run, audio commentaries with director Chuck Russell, Bob Shea, and other bonus features, and a trailer. Every DVD has to have a trailer, but uh, yeah, The Mask. Uh, and also, uh, keep in mind, guys, when you buy DVDs or games, especially at things like Value Village or Goodwill, Make sure you check the disc before you buy them, because if the disc is really, really scratched up, it's not even worth it. I usually, like, when it's a really clean disc, then yeah, it's probably worth a buy. But yeah, uh, that's it for, uh, I don't know what to call this series, um, pickups, or, I, I have no clue. I'm, I'm gonna give it a name, probably, when this video comes up, but, uh, yeah, that's about it. Um, and if you guys want an update on what's going on, uh, we are in the middle of shooting the special effects for Kong, and uh, it's it's a bit of a clustered fuck, and we've had a few problems, but we're fixing it up right now, and uh, we're going to be shooting all through the summer. And also, we have cosplay battles coming up. I've been trying to edit as many as possible, but given the time frame I'm in, I got I got I got a job now, so it's it's hard to really find time for anything to be honest, but, uh, yeah, there's that, and, um, aside from that, that's all really going on, just, uh, I've just been chilling, I've just been filming the movie, just doing what I need to do to get shit done, and, uh, yeah, that's about it, so, uh, for now, just, uh, rate, comment, subscribe, and, uh, if you want me to continue doing these videos, uh, let me know, and, uh, we'll see if this picks up, so, uh, we'll see you guys later, this is Big Track Films, signing off.